Hello, this is Flight Instructor Online and welcome aboard to Tupolev 154M in X-Plane 11. This is a 1970s trijet passenger airliner which was designed and built in the former Soviet Union. It can carry around 160 passengers over a distance of 5000 kilometers and with a cruising speed of about 900 kilometers per hour it was one of the fastest civilian airplanes of its time. It was also extremely versatile as it was capable of operating in the extreme cold conditions of the Arctic regions and it could even take off from unpaved runways. Because the former Soviet Union was isolated from the western world, their aircraft production developed mostly independent resulting in an airplane that is completely different from its western counterparts. This M variant has been adapted to fly both in the CIS countries uh, using the RSBN navigation system and in the West using VR, DME uh, and even GPS. This model was built by Felis for X-Plane 10 and 11 and it's uh, one of the most complex and unconventional airliner simulations available at this time. In this series we will go step by step through all that is required to fly this airplane using all available equipment on board. Um, and because the real Tupolev 154 has a crew of four and we are just going to fly it on our own, expect quite a high workload at times, maximize use of automation systems, good uh, flight planning and a thorough understanding of all the aircraft and the systems and the procedures uh, are going to help us uh, and will become key elements for a successful flight. Although I would normally like to encourage you eventually to learn and fly this airplane in the Russian setting, uh, so you can enjoy the full ambience of a Russian airliner, for the sake of this tutorial we shall just fly it in the English layout for now. Okay, before we are getting started, uh, we will need the Tupolev 154M add-on in X-Plane 11, which can be acquired from the Felis Planes website. It links to the .org website, and there, if you haven't done so already, you can purchase the aeroplane. And this is the website you need for the updates. So the first one is the version 1.1.7 updates at the moment, the latest. Um, it unzips into explain 11 aircraft folder and there it goes. So for the GPS we need this file KLN90. If you download that it looks like this. Uh, the content of the explain main folder obviously goes into the explain main folder, so output and the KLN90 nav data. I'm just going to drag and drop there. I'm not going to do this because I've already done it. The other folder, KLN90, goes into aircraft, the Felis 1.1.7, custom avionics, and it goes here. You can see it, I have done it already and you see the content. So now the um, last thing we need to do is the explain 11 objects and see if I can get the file to open. The, f the content of this objects file go into um, aircrafts to have objects and just overwrite whatever was already in there. Um, let's make sure the reflections in X-Plane 11 look good. Okay, next we need the XNVU calculator, the latest version uh, 0 0.38 at the moment. Uh, thank you Vanscruff for making this fantastic little utility. If you download this, make sure you have both required files. So you need the latest version um, and also the libraries. They both unzip into the same folder anywhere you like as long as you can find it back. And then if you open X and view X for the first time uh, you will need to set up settings, set x -plane folders. You will need to set up the location of the x -plane folder. So 
tick the box for explain 11 there and there and here you can see the location of the various files so this obviously is your standard explain 11 install folder the second one the rsbn that file which is normally located in your aircraft folder in explain and uh, where's it going? There it is. Uh, RSBN dot So basically, you just click there in the in the line, copy, select this, paste, and then it's uh, RSBN dot dat. RSBN dot dat. Right. So. After you've done this, uh, the setup's complete and we can start planning our first flight.